Good evening and welcome. You're watching News Tonight and I'm Vishal Dahiya. First, let's take a look at the headlines. In the third week of winter session, productivity in Rajya Sabha touches 98.54% compared to 84% in the previous week. Upper House passed five bills, issues of public importance raised in 68 zero-hour submissions and 33 special mentions. Lok Sabha likely to take up discussion on Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 on Monday. Bill provides for Indian citizenship for Hindu, Sikh, Jain, Buddhist, Parsi and Christian victims of religious persecution in Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh. Second phase of Chakhand election ends over 63% polling in the 20 seats that went to poll till 5 p.m. 260 candidates, including Chief Minister Raghuvar Das, were in the fray. Clashes in Gumla district claim one life, six, including policemen, injured. Help the needy by providing them free legal aid, says President Ramnath Kovind at the inauguration of the new building of Rajasthan High Court. Supreme Court Chief Justice cautions that justice loses character if it becomes revenge. And despite being defeated in several wars, Pakistan continues to make terrorism its state's policy, says Defence Minister Rajnath Singh at the passing out parade of Indian Military Academy, underscores the need to be alert against the neighbour. The news in detail now. Rajya Sabha clocked near 100% productivity during the third week of winter session of Parliament. So, citizenship amendment bill has been circulated to the members and is likely to be taken up next week. Here are the details. Rajya Sabha recorded 98.54% productivity during the just concluded third week of the winter session. It marked a significant improvement over the 84% productivity that it saw during the second week of the ongoing session. Against the total available time of 27 hours and 27 minutes, the House lost 1 hour and 27 minutes due to forced adjournments. Members, however, sat for an hour and 3 minutes beyond scheduled time, resulting in total time availed of 27 hours and 3 minutes. The third week also saw the Rajya Sabha taking up question hour on all five days of the week. 54 questions, accounting for 72% of the total listed 75 start questions, were orally answered. All the listed start questions were orally answered on two days during this week. Various issues of public importance were also raised in the form of 68 zero-hour submissions and 33 special mentions. During the third week of the winter session, Rajya Sabha passed five bills. The prohibition of electronic cigarettes, production, manufacture, import, export, transport, sale, distribution, storage and advertisement bill. The Spatial Protection Group Amendment Bill. The Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Deu merger of Union Territories Bill. The National Capital Territory of Delhi, recognition of property rights of residents in unauthorized colonies Bill. And the Taxation Laws Amendment Bill, which has been returned to Lok Sabha after due consideration. The Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 has already been circulated to members of Rajya Sabha and is likely to be taken up for consideration and passing next week, along with other legislative proposals. Rajya Sabha will discuss the issue of timely completion of major irrigation projects in the country on Tuesday next week under calling attention notice. Kriti Mishra's report, Rajya Sabha TV. And the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 will be tabled in the Lok Sabha on Monday and is likely to be taken up for discussion the same day. The Union Cabinet had cleared the bill on Wednesday to be introduced in Parliament. The bill proposes amendments to the Citizenship Act 1955, the government has sought the cooperation of members for the smooth passage of the bill. 
The Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 will be introduced in the Lok Sabha on Monday. The bill seeks to grant citizenship to non-Muslim refugees from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan who are facing religious persecution there. The center has sought cooperation of opposition parties in this regard. Sabhi dalon ko hum appeal karna chahte hain ki kyunki ye nagarik vidhayak jo hai wo desh ki bhalai ki drishti se ye bill la rahe. ये किसी पॉलिटिकल फायदे के लिए हम नहीं ला रहे तो इसलिए विपक्ष से भी हमारी अपील रहेगा कि सब लोग मिलकर इसको यूनानिमसली पारित किया जाए होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह मेट लीडर्स फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स इन दिल्ली टू एड्रेस देयर कंसर्न्स रिगार्डिंग द बिल ऑन थर्ड नवंबर Chief ministers of the northeastern states leaders of different political parties and several civil society organizations attended the meeting unlike the bill passed in the last lok sabha session the new citizenship bill proposes amendments in connection with the northeastern states while some opposition parties said they were satisfied with the proposed amendments others including the congress and the communist party have raised concerns about the bill prior to the 3rd of december we had a lot of fears apprehensions but uh, that evening on the assurance of the home minister mr amit shah i think many have been put to rest and uh, as for my state he has uh, specifically assured us that the cab will not override or overshadow the existing Bengal Eastern Frontiers Regulation Act of 1873 and the Inner Line Permit Act which is in operation this ka sath inka agreement ho gaya kya agreement hua kon agreement hua wo pura cheez hum log ko malum hona chahiye sarkar chahta hai je hamara hamara whim se hamara whim se hum jo jo karne chahta hai hum karenge to ye hum log nahi karne denge denge yeah hum log tolerate nahi karenge the bjp said the party and the government are committed towards the bill and that it does not in any way discriminate against any particular religion abhi naye sire se is bill ke bare mein sarkar ne ek janmat banane ki koshish ki hai और जब पूर्वोत्तर भारत के कुछ प्रदेशों के कुछ लोगों के मन में कुछ संदेह था आशंकाएं थी तो सभी मुख्यमंत्रियों और अन्य अन्य लोगों को माननीय गृहमंत्री जी ने गृहमंत्री के हैसियत से इकट्ठा बुलाया संवाद किया और दे ध्यान में आया कि उसके बाद उनके मन में जो भी आशंकाएं थी उसको दूर करने में सरकार सफल हो पाई मेनी नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्टीज बिलीव दैट सेटलिंग आउटसाइडर्स इन देयर स्टेट्स वुड वायलेट द असम अकॉर्ड ऑफ 1985 that include several clauses for deportation of citizens of all religions who migrated from Bangladesh post 1971 the amended bill will grant permanent citizenship to individuals who reside in the state for 5 years instead of 11 years as mentioned in the citizenship act of 1955 with inputs from panchanan mishra bureau report rajya sabha tv president ramnath kovin has stressed on the need for making justice accessible to all addressing the inaugural function of the new building of Rajasthan High Court in Jodhpur on Saturday President Kovind urged the judicial community to work for providing justice on time he emphasized the need to provide legal service free of cost to the needy and deprived people of the society expressing concern over the expensive legal services the president also said that application of technology may play an important role in dispensation of justice to common people speaking at the function the chief justice of india said that the criminal justice system must reconsider the time it takes to dispose of a matter he said justice must never ever take the form of revenge because justice loses its character when it becomes revenge tulak karane ka daitv swikar kiya hai ke anek karanon se nyay prakriya kharchili hui hai aur yahan tak ki jan samanya ki pahunch ke bahar ho gayi hai vishesh kar हाई कोर्ट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट में पहुंचना आम लिटिगेंट के लिए नामुमकिन है लेकिन अगर हम गांधी जी की प्रसिद्ध कसौटी को ध्यान में रखते हैं अगर हम सबसे गरीब और कमजोर व्यक्ति का चेहरा याद करते हैं तो हमें सही राह नजर आएगी मिसाल के तौर पर हम निशुल्क कानूनी सहायता उपलब्ध करा के जरूरतमंदों की मदद कर भी रहे हैं 
और भी कर सकते हैं निःशुल्क कानूनी सहायता के मुद्दे को मैं बहुत अहमियत देता हूं A day after the accused in the Hyderabad rape and murder were killed in an alleged encounter, Chief Justice Sharad Arvind Bobri said that justice can never be instant. At the inaugural ceremony of the new building of the Rajasthan High Court, Justice Bobri said that justice should never be done in retaliation. He added that justice loses its character of justice if it becomes revenge. The Chief Justice said recent events in the country has sparked off an old debate with new vigor. He also admitted that there is a need for the criminal justice system to reconsider its position and attitude about the time it takes to dispose of a case. Recent events in the country have sparked off the old debate with new vigor. There is no doubt that the criminal justice system must reconsider its position, must reconsider its attitudes towards time, towards laxity and towards the eventual time it takes to dispose of a criminal matter. But I don't think justice can ever be and ought to be instant. And justice must never ever take the form of revenge. I believe I believe justice loses its character of justice. A seven-member NHRC team on Saturday visited the site where the alleged encounter in which all four accused in the Hyderabad gang rape and murder case were killed. Now, the team also examined the bodies of the accused kept at the government hospital at Mahbub Nagar after the post-mortem was videographed. The apex human rights body that had taken cognizance of the encounter killing said the encounter was a matter of concern and needed to be investigated carefully. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on Saturday announced an excretia of 25 lakh for the family of the Unnao rape victim. And besides the money, the family will be given a government accommodation as well. The 23-year-old rape victim who was airlifted to Delhi and admitted to Subdajing Hospital with 90% burns after being set afire by the accused died after a cardiac arrest on late Friday night. Mukhi Mantri Kho Shep 25 lakh rupay ki aarthik shahita bhi bheja hai aur abhi shaham ko jilat kari ki haath ho usko check bhi mil jayega aaj hi mil jayega is liye sarkar ki puri shambedna पीड़ित परिवार के साथ है माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी इस पीड़ित परिवार के साथ खड़े हैं हमारी सरकार पीड़ित परिवार के साथ है द सेंटर हैज आस्ट द स्टेट्स टू टेक ऑल पॉसिबल स्टेप्स फॉर द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ विमेन यूनियन होम सेक्रेटरी अजय कुमार भल्ला सेड दिस इन अ लेटर टू द चीफ सेक्रेटरीज ऑफ ऑल स्टेट्स ही अंडरस्कोर द सेफ्टी ऑफ विमेन एंड गर्ल्स इज अ हाई प्रायोरिटी फॉर द गवर्नमेंट वेल द गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन स्टेप्स टू स्ट्रेंथन legislative provisions to deal with such offences in a stringent manner for effective deterrence it is imperative that the policy is police is easily accessible and is able to deal with any complaint regarding crimes against women in a timely and proactive manner the advisory said it is necessary to ensure that police personnel are much more responsive and sensitive in handling complaints of crimes against women and girls Let's take a short break here and on the other side we'll bring you some more news. On how many occasions motion of thanks was amended in Rajya Sabha? The motion of thanks on the president's address in Rajya Sabha has been amended thrice in 1980 
1989 and on 12th March 2001. Sen, an outstanding and extraordinary saltwater swimmer of India. He is the first Asian to swim the English Channel way back in 1958. And just eight years later, in 1966, he swam the seven seas of the five continents in one calendar year, which etched his name in the Guinness Book of World Records. In 1959. He was also conferred the Padma Shri and in 1967 he was awarded the Padma Bhushan. Welcome back. Let's now take a look at some news from Chakan, where over 64% polling was recorded in the second phase of assembly elections on Saturday. Now, 20 constituencies spread over seven districts went to polls in this phase. The elections will decide the fate of 260 candidates, including 29 women nominees and 73 independents. Voting commenced at 7 a.m. and ended at 3 p.m. in 18 out of the 20 polling stations. Voting in the Jamshedpur East and Jamshedpur West seats concluded at 5 p.m. Chief Minister Raghuvar Das is in the fray from the Jamshedpur East seat. Polling for rest of the three phases will be held on December 12th, 16th, and 20th. Counting will take place on 23rd of December. Meanwhile, one person was killed and several others injured. during a clash between police and local people at Kumla district Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said that India has no extra territorial ambitions but asked the armed forces to be alert against Pakistan which pursues terrorism as a matter of state policy speaking at the passing out parade in Indian military academy in Dehradun the defense minister said that pakistan have fought four wars and lost all of them but still they're not mending their ways he underscored the need to be alert against the neighbor bharat ke western front par ek hostile neighbor ke roop mein pakistan ne terrorism ko apni state policy banaya hua hai सामने आकर वह चार बार लड़कर परास्त हो चुका है मगर अजब पड़ोसी है कि वह अपनी हरकतों से बाज नहीं आता है इसलिए आपको आतंकवाद का बहादुरी से मुकाबला करने के लिए हमेशा खुद को तैयार रखना है डिफेंस मिनिस्टर राजनाथ सिंह फ्लैग ऑफ अ स्पेशल प्लॉकिंग अवेयरनेस ड्राइव एट डेली कंटोनमेंट ऑन सैटरडे Plogging is a combination of jogging while picking up litter. The Defence Ministry is observing plastic se raksha, swachhta, hi suraksha at more than 400 locations across the country. The program is aimed at creating awareness about collecting plastic waste from the surroundings. Speaking on the occasion, the minister said over 6 lakh defence personnel, NCC cadets and students from across the country are participating in the awareness drive. He also appealed for continuation of the cleaning drives and awareness programs at all levels. Swachhta, swachhta ko lekar jagrukta logon ke andar, chahe gramin shetr ho, toh sahri shetr ho, sabhi jagah jagrukta paida hui hai, isko sikar karna padega. Aur maine kaha na ki ab toh kahin par railway platform par ya kahin par koi gandgi karta hai, toh koi yua hai, toh koi bachcha hai. अब वो भी उसको चेक कर देता है तो मैंने इसीलिए कहा अपनी स्पीच में कि इस समय हमारे बच्चे और सब नौजवान 
इस समय स्वच्छता के एम्बेसडर के रूप में अपनी भूमिका का निर्वाह कर रहे हैं सारे देश भर में उनके अंदर अवेयरनेस ज़्यादा पैदा हुई है पाँच साल चार साल छः साल के बच्चों के अंदर मैंने देखा है स्वच्छता को लेकर जो जागरूकता पैदा हुई है वो उसकी जितनी भी सराहना की जाए वो कम है Vice President of India M Venkaiah Naidu on Saturday emphasized the need to stay healthy and fit calling upon people to cultivate a hobby sports or yoga he said leading a sedentary lifestyle unhealthy dietary habits and lack of physical activity were causing non communicable diseases like obesity hypertension heart diseases diabetes and paralytic strokes The vice president was addressing an event organized by the Hridaya Foundation in Hyderabad to mark the completion of 5000 heart surgeries of underprivileged children. The lifestyle changes that has come in our life there is a is one of the major contributory factors for factors for the same. Our life is becoming mechanical. Sedentary lifestyle is one of the reasons. and also the food habits the modern food habits which we are trying to ape the western countries the western countries their food habits are different they are planned they are prepared they are suited for their weather conditions for their living conditions our food which has been prescribed by our forefathers because of thousands of years of civilization and experience is best suited to our climate our region keeping that in mind we should all advise the children the youngsters particularly to go back to our roots of the original lifestyle and also secondary to follow indian food habits talking about the need to create affordable medical facilities the vice president also said the ayushman bharat initiative launched by the government is playing an important role in the nation's well being he added that the scheme will help citizens avail treatment for various ailments that was earlier out of their reach due to prohibitive costs this noble mission of helping the underprivileged and we it's our duty to take care of the suppressed oppressed and depressed people and also take care of the lost man in the society antima pankti mein baithe unka bhutan pehle hona chahiye 799 one dhan vikas kendras have been opened in 24 states since the launch of the pradhan mantri one dhan yojana stating this at an event organized by tribal cooperative marketing development federation of india or trifed managing director prabir krishn said that they had collaborated with fashion designer ritu beri to promote tribal crafts and culture across the country and the world these kendras he said benefit 12 lakh tribals across the country by providing market access to their products rituveri said that tribes india is the soul of india and the products of the tribals need to be nurtured supported and promoted to the world level they are better than any uh, any uh, world uh, world class uh, artists so i think बहुत स्कोप है बहुत सुंदर सुंदर चीज़ें कर सकते हैं बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट काम कर सकते हैं और अपने देश का नाम बिकॉज मैं समझती हूँ कि ये रियल लग्जरी है और इसको थ्रू दिस वी कैन ब्रांड इंडिया ग्लोबली एंड वी कैन क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ ब्रांडिंग फॉर इंडिया कि ये इंडिया से आया है The expanding carbon footprint has been linked to international tourism that has been growing at 3.3% every year since 2010 according to the UN World Tourism Organization and International Transport Forum transport by air car and other modes contributes to 75% greenhouse gas emissions due to tourism in 2018 tourism accounted for 8% of global greenhouse gas emissions emissions from transporting tourists reached almost 1600 million tons of carbon dioxide in 2016 which was about 5% of all energy related emissions the countries have listed tourism as one of the action areas in their nationally determined contributions under the paris agreement
That's all we have in this edition of News Tonight. We'll come back again on Monday. Keep watching Rajasabha Television.